find the average rate of change of the function uh, f of x equals x squared plus 6x. And uh, we're told that x1 is 3 and x2 is 4. Okay, so to do this, we'll start by writing down the formula. So the formula is f of x sub 2 minus f of x sub 1. And an easy way to memorize the formula is you just match these. So there's an x2 here, so you just put an x2 here. There's an x1 here, so you put a minus, and you put an x1 here. You can switch it, right? As long as, as, long as this number matches this number, and this number matches this number, it's good. You can switch them up and stuff. All right, so this is going to be equal to, let's see, so f of x sub 2, that's f of 4. So f of 4 minus f of, and then x1 is 3, so you just replace it with a 3. And it's all divided by, looks like x2 is 4, so 4 minus, and then x1 is 3. All right, so f of 4, f of 4 means you plug in 4 into your function here. So you can go to the side and do it. It might make it a bit easier. Let's, let's try doing it that way. So we're going to plug in 4 into this function. So I'll go over here and do it. So f of 4, that's going to be 4 squared plus 6 times 4. Okay, 4 squared is 16. Okay, and then 6 times 4 is 24. So this is going to be 40. Okay, so f of 4 is 40. So now we're going to come back up here and replace this with 40. Okay, minus. And now we want f of 3. So f of 3, we just replace all of the x's here with 3. So we get 3 squared plus 6 times 3. So this will be 3 squared plus 6 times 3. That's going to be 9 plus, and then 6 times 3 is 18. So that's 27. So it's going to be... 27, right? Because f of 3 is 27. So we just replace this entire thing here with 27. And then on the bottom, we get 4 minus 3, which is 1. 40 minus 27 is uh, 13. So 13 over 1. And then so the answer ends up being 13. And that's it. Oh, let me try to type it in to make sure it's uh, okay. Let's see. So sure it is, but let's, you know, never hurts. Yes, we got it right. <laughs> that's it.